is about storytellers, which is why I love it, because it's, it's, it's about storytellers. And this is going to surprise some of you, but when storytellers get together, there is a... Sometimes we exaggerate. No. We engage in the learning. <laughs> we BS mercilessly. And some people don't appreciate that. Why? In a small village, in a small village, the local woodcutter would listen to travelers. Because in a small village, no one had ever gone past the neighboring market. So the travelers would come in and they would tell these tales, each one more fantastic than the next. One day, a young man stood up to tell a story. It went like this. In a nearby port city, about a day's journey from here, I saw a ship that was so huge, you couldn't imagine its size. Why, if a young boy set out from the prow, he would arrive at the stern, an old, white-haired man. The woodcutter, who'd been having quite enough of this, there is not enough ale in the universe to put up with that nonsense. He said, what's so remarkable about that, young man? In the forest, about an hour's walk from here, there are trees. And these trees are so huge, so old, and so tall that a bird that had been flying for 10 years hadn't reached halfway to the... Liar! Everybody knows trees like that cannot possibly exist. Is that so? So where did the carpenters find the wood to make your ship's mast? <laughs> As I say, you spend half your time tuning and half your time playing out of tune. There's the clunker. No matter what your tuning is, it's always the second string. Even loop players have the same problem. <laughs> If 
my true love for God, I will surely find the lover where the wild mountain tide pulls around. Pluck wild mountain time all around the moon and There you go, will I see? And we'll all go together and sing wild mountain time all around the moon in heaven. Will you go? Thanks.